When you're eating a crumble cookie. Why are these good? Specifically, a crumble cookie. You know what you're signing up for with the carbs, with the sugar. You know you know what you're getting. But I know for a fact that you weren't signing up for antifreeze in your cookie. I know for a fact you weren't signing up for titanium dioxide. You are so bought in to what you are seeing these influencers put in front of you that you kind of ignore everything else. Genotoxic effects. The ability to damage your DNA to the point of leading to cancer. FDA banned this artificial color from cosmetics. So it's not okay to put on your face because it may cause cancer, but you can sure as shit eat it. Gasoline, oil, petroleum products. You're eating this shit. Welcome to episode two of This Is Why You're Sick. Let's get into crumble cookies. Maybe you guys have seen these pink boxes filled with these very sugary, very sweet, tasty morsels. This company has literally taken the industry of just sweets and desserts by storm. 900 locations in 50 states in under six years. These guys are doing something right. Or are they? Is it all right? Is it all good? Let's talk about crumble cookies and let's talk about why they may be playing a part in why you're sick. I want to talk about how excellent crumble cookies are marketing has been. What are they doing right? What is Crumble Cookies truly doing right? So what I really want to go into is, you know, obviously their popularity, their swift takeover, 900 locations in 50 states is not a thing to laugh about. This is a huge business thing. I'm a business guy. I own companies, I own businesses. If my company did that, holy shit, I would be happy. Their big thing is social media marketing. They're using influencers. They're using these people to talk about the flavors of the week, the flavors of the day. They're opening that pink box and they're showing you, here's the flavors of the week. Look how big they are. Yum, you know, here's this red velvet, here's this banana cream pie one, here's this, I don't know, marshmallow, whatever. Guys, I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm not the crumble cookie guy, okay? I'm not the guy who is eating these things on the regular. Have I had things like this? Of course I have. I've, I've, everybody's eating these kind of sweet treats and things like that. It's not my thing. I'm not a guy who's going every week to see what the new crumble cookie flavor is. If I even saw it on social media, I would I would swipe right past that shit. But their marketing is excellent. Holy shit. Social media, TikTok, they're using the influencers. They're they're really they've changed the game on how to keep people excited and on, on how to keep people engaged and how to really entice you, the consumer, me the consumer, to stay engaged in what this company is offering. They supposedly make fresh cookies at every location every single day. Fresh cookies. That sounds great. I'm super happy about this if I love cookies. Here's the problem that I have with what Crumble Cookies, not, not really what they're doing, but what it's doing to you. Here's my big bone to pick, and it's not with Crumble Cookies yet. I do a bone to pick with them as well. You know, family owned company, by the way. They have not sold out to a big corporate conglomerate as far as I know. I don't have a bone to pick with them on this advertising and the way that they have really brought this company to light. I have a problem with you being so susceptible to this social media bullshit. You are so bought in to what you are seeing these influencers put in front of you that you kind of ignore everything else. You're ignoring why you're even doing something sometimes, right? And we're all susceptible to marketing. I'll even find myself, you know, randomly, you know, if I'm watching something and I get enticed by a random commercial. On a highway, if I see a picture of a Big Mac, you don't think I think of my younger days when I used to have a delicious Big Mac back in the day. They don't taste the same, by the way. They taste like shit. Now I'm not a fan of Big Macs anymore. But you don't think that still entices me to want a Big Mac? Of course it does. Marketing works. The reason that I think you, the people, the, the viewers, the people that are susceptible to this social media marketing, that are always getting enticed by the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Ooh, it's a new flavor of cookie. We're talking about crumble, right? Ooh, it's the next flavor. Ooh, let me try this. Oh, my favorite influencer posted about the banana cream pie crumble cookie. I have to go get one so I can post on it too, so I can get attention. Do you even like banana cream pie? Like, is it like, do you even actually care about the flavor? Do you even actually care about any of that? Probably not, but they're capitalizing on you being so easily influenced. The reason why you're sick is because you are so susceptible to this marketing. And Crumble is really taking advantage of that. Can it be done better? And can Crumble really redeem themselves in my eyes with what they're doing to the their, their base, the, what they're doing with their customer base, what they're doing with the population that is patronizing them? I think they can. Now let's talk about 
getting a cookie. Why are you going to all of these 900 locations, these crumble cookie locations to get a cookie? Why aren't you cooking a cookie at home? Why aren't you baking that cookie at home? Why aren't you making your favorite cookies at home? Maybe it's that you don't know how to bake. Maybe that you've tried to bake and you suck at it. I don't know. Could be all those things. But why aren't you using ingredients that you know are a little bit better? And now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of it, which is my bone to pick with crumble cookies, is that they are not using healthy ingredients. They are actually using widely known, very, very unhealthy ingredients to the point of like, this shit is going to actually make you sick. I'm not saying it's the high carbohydrate load. I'm not saying it's the sugar. I'm not saying it's what's normally in a cookie. By the way, do you know what, what's normally in a cookie? Flour, butter, sugar, eggs, salt, baking soda, or baking powder. Six ingredients. Do you want to know what the average crumble cookie? I don't know if we actually have the stat for the average crumble cookie ingredient list. I actually have the ingredient lists of a couple of the most popular and most famous crumble cookies that you can get. I'm not trying to make you think this is about sugar and carbohydrates. It's not. When you're eating a crumble cookie, specifically a crumble cookie, you know what you're signing up for with the carbs, with the sugar. You know, you know what you're getting. You're, you're there. You understand. I'm, I'm eating a cookie. I'm not eating, I'm not eating a lean steak with some broccoli, right? Are you signing up for antifreeze? Are you signing up for multiple food dyes that are known to cause cancer and you know other issues that are actually theorized to cause dementia? That are, I mean, we're talking, this is real shit. I'm not actually joking. And I'll get to these ingredients in a second. But are you signing up for that? Did you know that crumble cookies don't just have these six or maybe 10 ingredients? Did you know this? Probably not. Why? Because you don't care because you're just going into the marketing train. Social media influencers told you, this is awesome. This is a great cookie. What does that social media influencer look like, by the way? Are they overweight with diabetes, with health problems? Probably not. It's probably like a fitness influencer who eats maybe a corner bite of a cookie once every three months. Yet you're going in there and you smash that 1400 calorie cookie <laughs> in one go, right? They are just selling you. They are putting a marketing scheme in front of you that you are just falling for. But I know for a fact that you weren't signing up for antifreeze in your cookie. I know for a fact that you weren't signing up for multiple food dyes that are known to cause issues. I know for a fact you weren't signing up for titanium dioxide. You eating that shit. Or are you? If you're aware of this and you're just doing it anyway, I'm going to say, you know, you're not, you don't really give a shit about your health. It's not just a cookie. There's a lot of other shit going on, okay? Listen, if I show you this ingredient list, <laughs> you're gonna just fall over, it's disgusting, it's horrible. These are baked fresh daily. Why do I see 30 preservatives in some of these cookies? Why do I see these food dyes? Why do I see these clear poisons that, I mean, if, if we're gonna go into it, uh, there's some people that are coming in power in the United States right now. RFK, <laughs> RFK, RFK is gonna ban this shit. President Trump and I are gonna stop the mass poisoning of American children. These are going to be illegal. Crumble cookies, why don't you take a step forward? I'll challenge you. I hope this gets to them. Why don't you take a step forward and why don't you get rid of these ingredients now? Why don't you show that you care about your consumer and that you know, we know, we have the data. These ingredients are toxic. These ingredients are gonna cause problems for people. These are causing health problems. We don't care about the sugar. We don't care about the carbs. We don't care about the fact that you're eating a cookie. We get it, but all of this is unnecessary. This original pink sugar cookie is 760 calories, 35 grams of total fat, 70 grams of total sugar, but there is five grams of protein. It's not a protein cookie. I'm messing with you guys, but this is, this is my point, you know? So like these, these cookies, these are, these are not the best cookies for you, but are you signing up for the things like titanium dioxide, the things that are giving you actual toxicity issues in your body? No. No, you're not signing up for that. I know you're not, but you're also not paying attention because you're bought into the social media craze. I'm going to go into a little bit of what these cookies actually show. Red velvet, white chocolate chip. Here's some of the highlighted ingredients. Titanium dioxide color, natural flavors, bleached wheat flour, corn syrup light and corn syrup, corn syrup and light corn syrup. You get double the fun of diabetes. Diabetes. Propylene glycol, FDNC red 40. That's a known toxic food dye, yellow six, red three, yellow five, water, propylene, glycol, artificial flavor, citric acid. So that's red velvet, white chocolate chip. There's a lot of data that shows that all those food dyes are actually giving your kids 
like ADHD issues. Banana cream pie was baffling to me. I swear to God, this has 60 ingredients. Again, bleached white flour, Cool Whip, water corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated vegetable oil. Don't get me started. Polysorbate 60, vegetable oil, soybean and palm oil, TBHQ for freshness, high fructose corn syrup. Again, there's multiple layers of high fructose corn syrup in this product. Mono and diglycerides, yellow five, yellow six, soybean oil, sodium benzenate, I mean, BHA and mixed. Listen guys, if I can't pronounce this shit, okay, it's a problem. Let's go over why I avoid some of these ingredients. Titanium dioxide, it's banned in Europe, by the way. You can't get any food product with titanium dioxide in it. The European Food and Safety Authority, which is leaps and bounds ahead of what the US is doing for food safety, found it, quote, no longer safe to eat. Holy shit, crumble cookies. Why is this in your food? Why is this in your quote unquote, fresh cookies made every day? That's sickening to me that you would actually allow this. And we can even go even further. Why is the FDA allowing this? Why is the United States government allowing this? They're not going too soon, by the way. Enough is enough. Red three is in that red velvet cookie. FDA banned this artificial color from cosmetics after it was shown to cause cancer in animal studies. But right now, red three is allowed in your food according to the FDA. So it's not okay to put on your face because it may cause cancer, but you can sure as shit eat it. <laughs> you can sure as hell eat that red number three dye in that crumble cookie. Cool FDA, that's great. BHA, endocrine disruptors, TBHQ preservative. Why are there preservatives in my fresh cookies? Crumble. There shouldn't be. You're making them fresh every day. Are they going spoiled within the eight hours that your store is open? I'm going to doubt that your shit's fresh anymore. I don't know what you're doing. Crumble cookies, but you can do better. Polysorbate 80, uh, mono and diglycerides, high fructose corn syrup. Guys, you, you know the basics of this shit. Now that you know what you're signing up for for crumble cookies, do you as the consumer, tell me in the comments, tell me that I'm stupid for even bringing this up to you. Are you going to still go and patronize crumble cookies knowing that you are eating all of this toxic shit? I mentioned RFK earlier, which is why I said crumble cookies, get ahead of this. I'm challenging you as a company. I'm challenging this family owned company. You're not a big corporate conglomerate. No one's going to get Nabisco or like one of these other major companies to change their ingredients in a company. There's too many layers, too much bullshit. I get it. But you're a family owned company. I feel like you should take pride in what you make, and there's no way that you can take pride in this product. Knowing all these toxic ingredients, knowing what it's, it can do to people, knowing that these ingredients are banned in Europe, they're banned in cosmetics. It's not even safe to put on my face, but you're thinking it's okay to have your consumer eat. Well, messed up, man. I, I, don't, I don't like this, okay? As a company, I am very, very offended from a family-owned company that you think this is okay. Now watch this video real quick from RFK. The ingredients include a lot of poisons, including a harmful yellow dye called tetrazine or yellow dye number five. What you may not know is that this dye was originally made out of the sludge that's left over when you turn coal into coke for blast furnaces. That dye that is in your food that they are okay with you eating, that is in crumble cookies, by the way, is made from a petroleum byproduct that is just a toxic byproduct. They're like, well, what are we going to do with it? Screw it. Let's feed it to people. <laughs> Guys, this is why you're sick. You're too susceptible to this media shit. You're, su you're too susceptible to being able to be convinced that these things are just cool. The next big thing. Yeah, let's get the new flavor of crumble cookies because my favorite influencer put the pink box and they may have taken a bite that was this big and probably spit it out when they were off camera because they know this shit's garbage but well, you're being influenced by it. And then you go and eat that whole thousand calorie cookie and you wonder why you feel like shit. You wonder why you're sick. You wonder why you're having all these problems. You wonder why your kids are having all these problems. You're sick because you're too susceptible to the social media marketing. And you're sick because companies that should have a little bit of honor and integrity, like Crumble Cookies, doesn't care enough about you to make this product at least a little bit healthier. We get it. It's high calorie, it's sugar, it's carbohydrates. We get it, but we don't need this shit. We don't need antifreeze. We don't need titanium dioxide. We don't need artificial colors that are making our kids hyperactive and giving us potential cancer. We don't need this. This is why you're sick. It's because of crumble cookies. Guys, stay tuned for the next episode. This one hurts my soul a little bit, but we're going to be talking about, God, it hurts, Chipotle. Everybody's favorite healthy, faster food restaurant. So stay tuned for the next episode. This is why you're sick. Please follow, give a like, share us with your friends. 
Let's talk about crumble cookies. And if you completely disagree with me, comment below and tell me why you think this is a stupid thing to talk about. And then go buy some crumble cookies.